G'day! In today's video I'm doing an extremely simple video of an unboxing of a Gigabyte 4060Ti Windforce OC 8GB model. Now, looking at it... One GPU in fairly Windforce vein. Another way to say it looks very similar to the earlier models, also using the Windforce cooler. We have one warranty card and not much else. Quick, quick install guide and a warranty card. The box itself is fairly uneventful, using the same stylings I've used for quite some time now. If we have a look at the back here, probably my biggest question is the power requirements. So we require one 8-pin power and 500 watts. So a little bit less probably compared to like the 3060 Ti. So a bit more power efficiency with the 40 series, but really not a huge much more. And we flip it over and peel off the tape. We see one fairly modestly cooled graphics card. Those look relatively chunky, but I think the majority of the chunk is the plastic that's here. Do note the GeForce RTX over here doesn't light up, nor does the Gigabyte. I don't believe this one has any form of LEDs on it. Itself, reasonably chunky, but definitely not compared to something like a, a 4070 or a 3080 or something to that effect. You see, two simple fans spin in alternative directions, I will be assuming, going by the fan blades pointing to one another. Look at that. Looking on here. Two HDMIs, two display ports. They look to be done side by side on this one where sometimes I do alternate them. We do have one single 8 pin up here as it does have on the box. So all up. One simple little card. If you're going out of your way to purchase this to upgrade from something like a 3060 maybe a 3060 Ti, you're really not going to get very, very good value for it. This particular customer is upgrading from a 1660 Super to one of these, he'll get a fairly large performance jump for his money. So it does cut, it is relative compared to where you're upgrading from. If your GPU is a few years old and you want something a bit more power efficient and you're still playing at 1080 or 2K, something like the 4060 Ti should be able to do that though the 8 gig of VRAM is a tad disappointing. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.